It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we're here for some infected gameplay. But first off, you may have noticed I've got some new channel heart on my channel, you know, the little page or whatever. Got some new art going. Kind of themed for October and whole Halloween thing because I personally love Halloween. Tons of fun with it. Love the whole holiday. Let's consider that, you know, just like the whole fun. I like it a lot. It's exciting for me. I have fun with it. So I thought I'd theme the channel art. And of course, my little thing, this area right here, that's themed a little bit to kind of go along with that art and the whole Halloween theme for the month. I'm excited to bring it to you guys because I love Halloween. I want to share that with you guys. And hopefully we can get 2.0 here very soon. 2.0 World Examination is going to be sick. Get some new content going for you guys. Kind of, you know, share more of the Halloween cheer, you could say. Fright Fest, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Just kind of bring it all in. I mean, we're playing with zombies here. I mean, that's kind of pretty... I think that definitely goes within the range of Halloween and stuff like that. You know, undead people. I think that works. But anyway, I love Halloween, so I'm going to share that with you guys. That's why I kind of redid my art for those months. I think it looks pretty cool. I like it. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. What you think of this new art I got going for the month. But anywho, we got some new information from Proletariat. Seth, the CEO, wrote a blog post kind of talking about the new update companies, kind of what they're talking about, their philosophy for the game, stuff like this, kind of talking about the update and beta codes and whatnot. And they actually released the release notes for the game, the new beta, since it's been taking so long. They're just kind of giving us a sneak peek at what's going to be new in it. So I want to just kind of read that out to you guys. And I'll throw it in the description and whatnot. But um, I'm going to read it out to you guys while we go through this attack. I'm just going to let my people go for it. I'm just going to deploy everyone at once. Y'all can watch it if you want. You can watch that. Listen to me talk about the new update. Whatever you want. It's up to you. But what we got going here. So I'm going to send one drone over here. And Aftershock's just going to chill out over there. And then we're going to send everybody else going this way. Alright. Here they go. Almost there. Boom. Alright, so let's send all these guys in the back. Send those guys. Send some reanimators. Some biohazards. Uh, Titans, I am literally just throwing everything I got in here, except for the harbingers because it's just gonna blow everything up, and I don't have time for that. But there's that. Y'all can watch that. Now I'm gonna read through the notes, and if you want, you can look at the description too. But I'm just gonna kind of read through what we have here for the new ups update. So first off, brand new home screen. I'm excited for that. It's gonna be look really cool. New UI stuff like that looks awesome. You can access different parts of the game from one central screen, letting you pay attention to what's important at a certain given time. That's going to be awesome. Brand new team page. It's going to be a pretty much straightforward, awesome graphics just showing your top group of zombies that, or humans that you just love using. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be, you're going to see your current team, upgrade and recharge them from a beautiful new UI. It's going to look awesome. I can't wait to see it. Uh, units. Now have a stat called power, and your team's total power lets you go on missions. So they're kind of revamping that a little bit. Higher level units, as well as rare units, have higher power. So that kind of lets you go on higher powered missions, more difficulty, stuff like that. Probably could help you progress through the story and things like that. Uh, here units have been added. Dr. Zombowitz is here. Awesome. He looks awesome. As well as Captain Zeta. She's going to go off in the destructor. And they're here to help our teams. I love it. Be playing through the quest, these heroes can be upgraded into the fiercest units of all. So there's going to be different kind of tiers. I showed you guys a little bit in one of my past videos, kind of the different way they look with their different upgrade progressions. They look awesome, look really cool. I'll show you guys once the uh, update comes out. It's going to be really cool. Be awesome. Players who had previously completed the quest will have their aftershock and destructor replaced with the final evolution of the heroes. So we're going to be straight from the top. And somehow I'm going to have to bring you guys the lower level ones. Not sure how, but y'all can guess. Do what you want. Alright, so we're just wiping through this actually while I'm looking. Use this drone, guys, to get take out these commandos really quick. They're just being a pain. Alright, let's continue going through here. Skills can now be upgraded through research. That's actually really nice. It's gonna be upgraded that stim, flare, and the Mazatov cocktail, other stuff. Drone guys or stuff like that. Each skill now has ten levels worth of upgrades, allowing players to make them very powerful. To com compensate for the extra power, skills can get Early skills have been weakened, so not going to be good when you start off, but it's going to get a ton better as they move down. What do we have next? Mission scoring has been revamped. Stars have been replaced with the trophies. I love this a lot. It's going to allow for a lot of different differentiation in the leaderboard and stuff like that. You know, show how you're better and stuff like that. 
So those are replaced with trophies. You win a mission by dispatching special units on other team, completing the mission quickly, not losing any objectives anymore. So this actually is going to allow you to, you're going to actually be able to send waves early, which is going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right, while we're continuing to re go through here, I'm just going to autofill, borrow this, accept, attack. Let's keep going really quick. Um, so rewards are going to be scaled based on the number of trophies you get. And victory points are not going to be called trophies. We already knew that. All right, a new system for training and involving units. Units can now be trained with supplies in the training lockers and evolved with DNA in the mutation stations. Now, these are going to be, these look awesome. The UI looks awesome. The art looks amazing. Sterling did a great job with the animations. Uh, everything about it's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Um, <clears throat> but training and involving takes time now, however. But, I mean, compromise, I think it'll be fine. And a unit's level has become much more powerful than they previously were. So each upgrade, they're just going to get a ton better. It's going to be awesome. Uh, resource collection has been added. Let's throw these guys really quick. We'll talk about that in a second. Let's just drop everybody over here. Do the same thing as last time. Just let everybody go crazy. Send these guys, and these guys, and these guys, and these guys, and some of these guys. Just kind of sending everybody. Drop the last few drones. Start some reanimators. One more assassin, and it is just going. So y'all be able to watch that as I finish reading through some of this stuff. Um, many changes made to the. Uh, we talked about this. Not yet. Uh, let's go to resource collection really quick. Resource collection has been added. Search sites have been replaced by collecting, which allows you to assign your units to passively collect resources while you're away, which is gonna be really nice. Uh, just kind of changed it up like that. Uh, we'll just talk about it a little bit when it actually comes out. I'll show you guys. Uh, many changes were made to the economy. Players can now be disbanded, can disband their human units for supplies and consume their zombie units for DNA, which is going to be really nice because as you saw, I had max units. I had too many of them, so I had to consume some of them. But this way, we won't have to use our DNA or anything. We'll actually get DNA for getting rid of them, which is going to be really nice. Uh, mission rewards adjusted. Pack prices the store adjusted. Mission costs adjusted. I don't know if that means up or down. I'm not sure. But they've been adjusted. Um, players can now purchase more brains, DNA, rations, and supplies for the coins. So that's going to be nice. You're going to get more bang for your buck, I'm assuming. Uh, zombie behavior in human missions has changed. Zombie gameplay remains unchanged. Zombies try to reach objectives that humans are approaching. Both ranged immunity units do their damage to objective upon reaching it, and them attacking will disappear. All right. And that's basically all the big changes. Minor changes, uh, bug fixes. Uh, I'm not going to go through that stuff. Y'all can read through that if you want in the description below. But let's see how we're doing with this attack right here. It looks like we cleared almost everybody out. Pretty much. Jerome Geyser is going to go over here. I'm going to stem them up so we can kind of get through them. And drop a wonderful harbinger to just drop them. Alright, how much time do we got? 59 seconds. That's no good. We got through this wall ASAP. And once we get through that wall, I'm going to send my harbingers down this way. They're going to take that out of the hospital. I'm going to send one more to take out little tiny human people. All right, Harbinger, away. One is out. Two is out. Boom. And one more just for good luck. There we go. All right, we got three Harbingers. Got our assassins running. Here we go. This is about to get clutch. All right, so first Harbinger is going to knock out that hospital. Boom. Took out the assassins, but it's okay. Second Harbinger there. Let's stim him up. Okay, we didn't need to. He took out everybody just fine. Clear that out with three stars. I love it. But anyway, that's going to conclude this episode. We went through all the new updates, stuff like that. Told you about my art, stuff like that. New theme for October, 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 I don't know, Zomtober, whatever you want to call it. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode.